Hello YouTube, my name is Brian the Duke. You probably learned from my previous videos that I'm quite a fan of Affinity Designer. I think it's a great vector drawing application and I now use it for all my drawings. Well, I like to get into comic creation. Now the other day I was in Boston and I picked up on this Archie comic. And I really enjoy this old style. I prefer a lot of the older styles. And now let's take a look at one of these frames, uh, one of these pages I mean. And I like the way this old style is done. There are three rows and sometimes there are two columns or three columns. You see they, it sometimes it switches depending on the page. So I want to create my comic in this style and when I create my drawing I want to make sure that it stays within the cell. I don't want it to be um, bleeding off the cell. So how would we create comics in Affinity Designer? Okay, so let's start by opening Affinity Designer. And this is just a trick. That's not actually Affinity Publisher. It's not out yet. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> okay, so create a new document. And 8 by, uh, 8.5 by 11 is common for uh, comic page layouts. So press OK. Now I'm going to start by creating a new layer and this layer is going to be called grid. Now I will take the rectangle shape tool and I'll start by creating a shape. Make sure the fill is transparent and make sure the stroke can be seen. Have it be not too thick but just a little thick. Uh, scroll in. I'm going to hold Command for Mac or Control for Windows. And while that's selected, I'm going to just click and drag to make a duplicate. Now let's put in snapping. I'm going to select both of these and I want to get rid of some of that gap space on the right side. So I want to resize this. But I want to make sure that the frames are also aligned in the middle. So with snapping enabled. I'm going to hold shift and drag and see that green indicator. It's letting me know that that is in the dead center right now. Now I'm going to hold command again or control for windows and drag. And now I'm going to have these panels be on the bottom. Drag again. And I think it's okay if the gap space doesn't match completely. I'm going to turn snapping off and just scroll down a little while holding shift. Alright, now I don't want to have um, these panels be completely parallel to the ones on the top and bottom. So I'm going to just delete one frame, stretch this a little bit, hold command, slide, now Command J will create a power duplicate. That's the same as just dragging again and making sure it's the same distance as the previous. And now you'll see that it's not aligned. So I'm going to select all of these, put snapping back on, and shrink these. And it snaps right there. So now I can see that everything is centered just the way I want it. Now I'm going to create a new layer, and this is going to be called Panel 1. However, Panel 1 layer needs to be below the grid layer, and I'll show you why later on. Okay, so let's go and draw a character. I'm not going to put my best work into it. I just want to show you how you would go about doing this. Yay! Okay, here's my character. Now I'm going to select this layer in which I drew the character, and now I'm going to grab the crop tool. And now I want to make sure that the crop marks are right aligned with 
the frame of the grid layer above. And now notice that once I select this layer and I try dragging him around, you'll see that he is no longer in the frame box. And that is because I'm dragging the frame box when I drag the layer. So if I don't want to do that, let's say I want to create another layer for this character. So I'll name this layer character. And now I'll I'm going to click that first curve and hold shift to select all of them at once and drag that inside the character layer. Now when I select the character layer and move him around, you'll see that he does stay in that cropping area. And you would just repeat the same for the rest of the layers. So panel 2 and I'm not gonna show you um, how it works for every panel because I think you get the idea. For this next panel I'm gonna use uh, one of my characters. I'm gonna use Hapahides. So I wanna use this character right here. So I'll select the layer, hold Command C to copy or Control C to copy or just do it this way, edit copy paste, make him larger, let's even uh, rotate him a bit. Alright, and same thing, grab the crop tool. Oh, actually, you know what? I cop I pasted the Hoppahedes layer, but this should be on the Hoppahedes character should be in the panel 2 layer. Now I'll click panel 2. Now I can uh, change the crop mask. You'll notice that I make mistakes quite a lot. <laughs> there we go. So that's how you would do that. Now let's say you want to create a comic from this layout. Anytime you use the crop tool, it only creates square shaped crop marks. So I'm gonna paste this cat I'm gonna paste this character. Resize him again, rotate. Okay, so I want him to be in this third frame. So I'm gonna drag him, create panel three. I'll be skipping one and two. Drag him in. Now to accomplish this, I'm going to copy this panel and paste it in here. I press Command V. And now I'm going to switch the stroke to fill. Okay, now I'm going to select this curve. I'm going to drag it right beside the thumbnail. Now Hoppahedes is right there. So I hope this video helps you. Have a good rest of the day. Toodles.